Welcome to the extraordinary world of hummingbirds, where these tiny, vibrant creatures defy expectations and captivate us with their remarkable abilities. Hummingbirds are fascinating little birds found mostly all over the Americas. They are known for their beautiful colors, aerial acrobatics, and lightning-fast speeds. But did you know that hummingbirds can outpace a space shuttle? Or that hummingbirds are close to starvation every single day? Prepare to be amazed as we uncover the top 10 mind-boggling facts about these incredible wild hummingbirds. From their mischievous tendencies to their superhuman feats, these charming birds never cease to astonish. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a whimsical journey through the enchanting world of hummingbirds. Hummingbirds, Web Stealing Bandits Hold on to your hats, friends, because hummingbirds aren't just pretty pollinators. They have a sneaky side too. Believe it or not, these nimble aviators have been caught red-handed pilfering spider silk. They cunningly incorporate it into their nests, making them extra sturdy and spider chic. The hummingbird loves to steal silk from spider webs. Why? Because hummingbirds use these sticky webs to build their nests. The female will line her nest with sticky silk, which helps to keep the eggs safe and secure. Unfortunately for the spiders, this destroys their webs. Hummingbirds use other materials to build their nests include leaves, bark, grasses, and twigs. The female hummingbird weaves these materials to create a soft, cozy home for her eggs. She often uses spider silk to help bind these materials together. Hummingbirds are amazing creatures, and their nests are a testament to their engineering skills. Who knew hummingbirds had a secret fashion sense? Hungry Hummingbirds – Starvation on Wings A hummingbird will starve to death if it doesn't eat many times a day. This constant state of near starvation is because hummingbirds burn up so much energy so quickly that they must eat every 10 to 15 minutes. If they don't, they will die. Hummingbird metabolism is twice much faster than any other animal on earth. It's 100 times faster than an elephant's metabolism. And a hummingbird's metabolism is more than 77 times faster than human metabolism. Plus, this tiny bird has the highest body temperature of any warm-blooded animal, nearly 106 degrees Fahrenheit, and its heart beats 1,260 times per minute. To fuel their rapid metabolism, hummingbirds eat about half their body weight in sugar every day. Nectar is primarily sugar water, so it's an important food source for hummingbirds. But nectar alone doesn't provide all the nutrients a hummingbird needs. So they also eat small insects for protein. A diet of only nectar would be like a human eating nothing but candy. It might taste good, but it wouldn't be very nutritious. At night, a hummingbird's metabolism slows down into a state of torpor, allowing the bird to eat less than it does during daylight hours. That's a good thing because if a hummingbird ate as much at night as it does during the day, it would probably explode. Hummingbirds reverse flight. Move aside, other birds, hummingbirds have claimed the bragging rights for the most fantastic flight skills. These avian acrobats can zip through the air in any direction they please, including backward. They're the aerial daredevils of the bird kingdom, defying gravity and leaving their counterparts in awe. Most birds can fly forward, but hummingbirds are the only ones that can fly backward. So how do they do it? It's all thanks to their ball and socket shoulder joints, the rapid pace of their wing beats, and their unique wing patterns. Hummingbirds' shoulder sockets allow their wings to move 180 degrees in all directions, including backward. In addition, this bird's wing beats clock in at around 70 times per second while flying. That speed gives its backward motion stability and strength. The hummingbird's wings rotate in a figure 8 pattern as they hover in an oval pattern when they fly. This ability gives their wings extra lift and allows hummingbirds to change directions quickly and easily. Talk about rewriting the laws of physics. Hummingbirds vs Space Shuttle Yes, you heard that right. The hummingbird, with its rapid wing beats, can clock an astonishing speed that puts even the space shuttle to shame. While the shuttle reaches speeds of about 17,500 miles per hour, certain hummingbird species can flutter their wings at an astounding rate of 80 times per second. 
Hummingbirds are the fastest animals in the world when it comes to speed based on body lengths per second. These miniature birds are so fast that they outpace the space shuttle. For example, when the space shuttle races back to Earth, its speed is just over 200 body lengths per second. However, a diving hummingbird flies up to 385 body lengths per second. The speed of a diving hummingbird also outpaces a fighter jet, which flies at about 150 body lengths per second. Hummingbirds can achieve that kind of pace because they fly up to 60 miles per hour. We've already learned that their wings beat 70 times per second while flying. But did you know their wings beat up to 200 times per second while in a dive? It's true. The hummingbird's small size and low weight help them achieve these high speeds. Also, the hummingbird's wing muscles make up 25% of their total body weight. This percentage is much higher than other birds, which typically have wing muscles that make up only 10% of their body weight. All that wing muscle makes hummingbirds a strong flying force in the sky. Other advantage hummingbirds have for flying and diving is that their wings are longer and thinner in proportion to their width. These features help them fly faster and make sharper turns. Move over, NASA, hummingbirds are here to give you a run for your money. Hummingbirds neighborhood walls. They may be small, but hummingbirds have quite the feisty side. When it comes to defending their territories, these tiny terrors turn into formidable warriors. They'll dive bomb anything that dares to encroach upon their sacred feeding grounds. Hummingbirds can be very territorial, especially regarding their food sources. They will swoop down and attack other hummingbirds that come into their personal space. Hummingbirds also chase away other birds, insects, and even mammals that come too close to their feeding areas. This behavior is likely because hummingbirds need a lot of energy to keep up their high metabolism, and they can't afford to share their food with anyone. Hummingbirds will also take nectar from other birds' nests when the need arises. The males are the most territorial because they are trying to protect their mates and nesting areas. The females are not as aggressive but will still defend baby hummingbirds. Due to their territorial, and vulnerable to predators, nature, hummingbirds usually build their nests in sheltered locations near sources of food. Isolated trees, bushes, and structures like covered decks are just a few examples of common hummingbird nesting grounds. Did you know that hummingbirds often sleep while hanging upside down in a tree? Consider that a bonus incredible fact about hummingbirds we think is really cool. So, if you ever come across an outraged hummingbird, remember to step away slowly and avoid any avian rot. Meet the world's tiniest birds. Good things come in small packages, and hummingbirds are the epitome of that saying. These feathered marvels hold the title for being the smallest birds on the planet. The bee hummingbird is the tiniest bird known to man with a length of just 2.25 inches, 5.7 centimeters, and a weight of 0.07 ounces, 2 grams. One advantage of being the smallest birds in the world is that hummingbirds can build their teensy nests just about anywhere. There are a few disadvantages too. Hummingbirds have difficulty staying warm in cold weather, and they can't carry much food or nest building supplies at a time. But truly, these are nature's very own pocket-sized marvels. Heart of a Hero. Prepare to have your mind blown, because the size of a hummingbird's heart defies all expectations. Proportionally speaking, their hearts are absolute powerhouses, accounting for a staggering 2.5% of their total body weight. Hummingbirds have hearts the size of pencil erasers, but that's a massive size for such small bodies. So why do hummingbirds have such big hearts? The answer has to do with flying. Hummingbirds fly a lot, and flight takes a lot of energy. Hummingbirds are always just a few wing beats away from a heart attack. Their hearts have to work very hard to pump blood to their wings consistently. The hummingbird's heart beats up to 1260 times per minute. And when they're flying, their heart rate can increase to more than 1400 beats per minute. Talk about having a heart that beats with boundless determination. Sleep and dine lifestyle. Forget about fancy sit-down meals. Hummingbirds have mastered the art of on-the-go dining. 
With their long, slender beaks, they expertly seed nectar from flowers, indulging in a never-ending buffet of sweet treats. A hummingbird loves nectar so much that it drinks up to 12 or more times its body weight in nectar every day. So how do they do it? First, hummingbirds visit up to 2,000 flowers per day to find and eat all of that nectar. Why hummingbirds drink that much nectar daily comes back to their super-fast metabolism. The sugar in nectar gives them much-needed energy. They're the ultimate multitaskers, simultaneously savoring their meals while keeping those tiny wings in motion. Hummingbird's Coiled Sponge Tongue Get ready for a tongue-twisting revelation about hummingbird tongues. Their tongues are not only long and agile but also possess a mind-boggling trick. When a hummingbird extends its tongue to reach nectar, it unfurls like a coiled spring, enabling it to probe deep into floral crevice. The tongue of a hummingbird is almost as long as its beak and when tucked away between feedings, a hummingbird's tongue coils up inside its head and around its eyes. In addition to that, the hummingbird tongue is forked at the end and curled in at the edges. Instead of lapping up nectar, the hummingbird tongue seems to absorb liquid through a mechanism called capillary action. This biological action works like a porous sponge absorbs water. T. It's like having a built-in nectar sucking superpower. Hemisphere Hoppers As globetrotters of the avian world, hummingbirds have explored various corners of our planet. However, if you're hoping to catch a glimpse of these delightful creatures in the eastern hemisphere, you are out of luck. There are nearly 340 hummingbird species in the world, but none of them lives in the eastern hemisphere. Only a few species live in North America, and even fewer live in Europe, Africa, or Asia. The reasons for this distribution are not entirely clear. Still, it is likely because the flowers that hummingbirds feed on are more abundant in the Western Hemisphere. There are also more insects for hummingbirds to eat in the Western Hemisphere, which is important because they need protein to survive. So, if you are on the hunt for hummingbirds, it's time to book a ticket to the New World. Hummingbirds are fascinating creatures with unique anatomy and skills. Did you already know some of these 10 incredible hummingbird facts, or did we surprise you with a few? There's no doubt that these tiny birds are experts at flying and drinking nectar, and they have one of the biggest hearts, per body size, of any animal on earth. In addition, we learned that hummingbirds have an extraordinary tongue and metabolism. And now we know if you want to see a hummingbird, you'll need to find them in the Americas, where most of these creatures live. And there you have it, friends, the top 10 mind-blowing facts about incredible wild hummingbirds. From their cunning thievery to their aerial acrobatics, these fascinating creatures continue to charm us with their boundless energy and unique abilities. So, the next time you spot a hummingbird flitting about, take a moment to appreciate the wonder that unfolds in their petite, feathered world. After all, it's the small things that often leave the biggest impressions. And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.